Hey guys, Glor here, and I wanted to make one more video analyzing the effects of crit rate and whether or not that would be better than, let's say, equipping attack percent on my characters. And the reason why I wanted to do this because I started reaching a point in the game where um, I had to make a decision on whether or not I equip, let's say, a piece that had crit rate as a main stat, crit chance as a main stat, versus attack percent as a main stat. And earlier in the game, sometimes you have to make decisions on what set bonuses you want. Like, let's say, if you want to equip the Berserker set versus, let's say, a straight-up 18% um, set. So, for instance, you know, the Gladiator set gives 18% attack, whereas if you look at, let's say, a Berserker piece, it gives you 12% crit rate. So, which one's better? Um, the answer is, it depends. It really depends on your character, um, its crit rate, its crit damage, and its base attack. A lot of these factors play in. So what I've done for you guys is I've kind of um, made a function with the help of my friend Omni. Thanks, shout out to Omni for helping me with the analysis. I'll show you a chart uh, for various power levels and how that kind of flows over time as you gain adventure rank and ascend your characters. Um, and at which, you know, at which point you can use it to determine whether or not um, one piece is better than another piece for you. Um, I'll give you an example for myself. Um, I had to ask myself, is this is this helmet worth it? I have a crit rate main piece helmet. It does have decent substats, but I wasn't sure if it was better or not. And I ended up choosing it after the analysis that I did. I also had a bit more of a, a reason to do so because of the Gladiator set. But anyway, I'm just trying to give you guys a tool to help you pick what would be best for you guys. So let's dive into the plot I made and I'll show you the function. Um, and I'll explain it from the ground up, okay? Okay, here's the plot I made, and this is basically a fun this function in blue uh, plotted over several different um, attack powers. So let me just explain a few things. I'm trying to find the equivalent attack percent I would need that would match the damage bonus I would get for a given 1% crit chance for my base attack of 704. So I'm using Razor as my example here. Okay, so the way the function reads is um, how much attack percent would you need which only scales off base attack, which is why it's base attack dependent, okay? Um, you would actually find that value by taking your overall attack power. So for me, it's 1550 for Razor. Um, your crit rate, and in this case, I'm using 1% because I'm just using a quick test just to see, uh, for a given crit damage divided by your base attack. And this way, you can see at what point they're equal, okay? And yes, there is an inherent assumption um, in this function, and that assumption is that crit rate, you know, you're not guaranteed to get one out of 100 hits if you have 1% crit damage because this is uh, discrete probability. But let's say over time, over many, many samples, it will, it will basically um, average out to about 1%. So the mean over a large sample size will probably be 1% of your hits will be crits when you have 1% crit rate. Um, that's not guaranteed, right? I mean, there's a bit of a chance and some t statistics that go into this. Um, I'm just showing you the, the plateau. And the way I like to think about this is, like, for me as a player, I'm going to be swinging the sword thousands of times, probably. Um, or I play for hours at a time with the current gear I have. So for me, I'm going for the averaged out play. You know, I'm not looking for maximizing damage over 30 seconds or always playing it safe. You know, I'm looking for the overall best upgrade over time um, for a long period of time because I play the game for a long time. Okay, but what is the more interesting use case? And that is the 1.5% line here. And the reason why this is interesting is because the way the game works is that all of the crit pieces are actually 1.5 times lower in magnitude than all of the attack percent pieces okay and what i mean by that is let's let's hop back into the game here really quickly so now that we're in game i can actually show you that a crit piece let's say has 4.2 percent whereas an attack piece would have 6.3 percent this is they're both plus zero purples okay that means we have 1.5 times more attack percent on our crit rate. So when you're comparing apples to apples on whether or not should I equip this piece versus this piece, the interesting break even point is that 1.5 times multiplier, which is that dotted line I have on my curve, okay? So all you have to do is when we go back into here, I'll just move my face over. Um, when we go back into here, what you can see is for this line, when we compare crit damage to attack percent, this is the interesting break even point. So everything below the, this dotted line means attack percent would be better than crit damage, okay? So 
Um, for me, for instance, what this tells me, if I plug in my, my stats, 704 at 1500, this is the curve I follow from this function. Okay, that means for me to equip a crit rate piece, I would need um, my crit damage to be at least 70%. Otherwise, I'm better off using an attack percent piece, okay? Um, but what's interesting is, is as I increase in power, that crit damage requirement actually decreases. And I'm going to outscale attack percent as I increase my crit damage. So as I get stronger as a character, both by increasing my overall attack, this math is just proving to me that crit rate becomes way more valuable and it's going to outscale attack percent because you will need less and less crit damage and more and more crit damage is actually going to uh, require you to add way more attack percent on your gear for it to be better than crit rate, okay? So all that to say, that's kind of why I equipped a, a crit rate piece. That's the analysis I used to determine whether or not my crit rate was better than my um, attack percent, okay? So now that we've done the analysis, how can you use this to make this a tool for your life? Well, all you really need is this equation. You can play around the variables uh, yourself to find out um, which one um, you're looking for. So if you want to know what I just did on this analysis with this black dotted line to find your crit damage break even point, all you have to do is isolate for crit damage by subbing in 1.5% here, which is 0.015, your overall attack and your base attack, as well as 1% crit. So this would be 0.01 in this value CR. And isolate for crit damage to find out what value is your minimum threshold to find if crit chance is worth it over attack percent. And that's strictly for equipping a crit chance main piece versus an attack percent main piece or the set bonus. Okay, that's what that 1.5 marker denotes. Okay, otherwise you, you can play with um, various uh, percentages and various crit rates to compare two pieces as well. So feel free to use that function. Just remember the assumptions and limitations associated with this function. I hope that helps clear things up. And the big takeaway here is that crit rate is going to be way, way, way more worth it as we level up our characters into larger attack values. That is the main key point. If you have any comments or suggestions on what I should do next, please leave them below. I'll definitely be reading all your comments. If you have any questions as well, I will be happy to reply. All right, have a great day, guys.